Hey, Brendan, thank you so much for uh, taking time out of your training. <laughs> this is kind of weird here. Hey, guys, uh, tonight we have several uh, visitors at my gym. Um, we have a special guest, uh, Max. What's your last name, Max? Calcagno. 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 And then we also have Brendan. What's your last name? Wilcoxon. Wilcoxon. And we're going to shoot a couple of videos tonight, or maybe in the coming week. But uh, Max drove in all the way from Henrietta, which is about a 50 minute drive. And uh, Max post on uh, an F on a Facebook uh, forum called. I think it's the, it's called the group for all martial artists. There you go, the group. For yeah, all. you yeah. guys probably know me there. You know that smart ass guy. <laughs> That's me. So he asked a really good question, and a lot of people gave um, a lot of answers. Some were more insightful than others, and I gave an answer that was um, that. I needed to explain myself, and I promised Max that I'll shoot a video. And it happens that he came tonight, so I just thought, you know, why not explain it? Because then we can have a dialogue. And I also gathered Evander because uh, Evander's been my student for four years, so it's kind of very important to understand my thought process. He doesn't have to agree with it as long as my thought process is um, insightful or um, or thoughtful. Okay, so very important to understand where people come from, provided they put a lot of thought into it. Okay, um, a lot of people like to give answers that they do not put a lot of thought into things. Uh, Max, why don't you um, ask the question that you asked on Facebook? Well, the question I had had was, um, <clears throat> is if uh, in your martial arts, uh, whatever, whatever you are studying, um, is there what I would consider like a recognition of handedness? Like for example, do you care if your left hand, for example, is a lot not nearly as good as your right, or do you try to train them to be equal, or do you try to train them in equal amounts, or do you try to overtrain the side that you're worse at, or what, what do you do? What's your take on it? Is it better to, to I guess, focus your energy on making yourself sym symmetric, or is it better to let each one excel to its, each, each side, I guess, excel to its individual maximum, whatever that is? Perfect. So I think that, that yeah. Yeah, that's Perfect. where I left off with it. Perfect. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Perfect. And you guys can jump in any time. Anyone? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, so my thought process is this. It all boils down to resources. <laughs> no, that's it. It all boils down to resources. Right. Yeah. And the resources <laughs> is time, energy, and money, and what your end goal is. So for example, Evander is uh, as a pro. He's going to do his first pro MMA <laughs> fight in 2016. And as Evander, when we hit the mitts, we train specifically one side. And we set up a <coughs> strategy around that one side of fighting. And here's the reason why. Um, if we're training him to fight, especially for MMA, he has to do a lot of things. He has to work on his conditioning. He has to work on his wrestling, his clinch work, his judo throw, his wrestling takedowns, his fighting on the ground technique, his tie boxing, his Muay Thai clinch, his... Uh, fighting off the cage, dirty boxing, the list goes on and on and on. Number two, what is your end goal? For Evander's end goal is functional fighting. In other words, he's going to get in the cage and he's going to try to beat someone up and not get hurt. Now, when you train both sides, your brain doesn't balance itself equally. Um, when you fight from both sides and you videotape yourself or watch the way you fight, there's certain angles that you move from once, uh, if you train your left and you train your right. And there's certain things you see with your mind. There's certain techniques that you react to. Now, if you're getting ready for a fight, you have so much to train. Like, let's just say you're training soldiers. You don't care if he's good at left or right. You train him to fight one way. And here's the reason why. Let's just say me and Max are fighting with knives. And I cut his hand. And he goes, oh, shit, I'm going to switch my I'm going to take my blade and put it on my other side. Well, you're fucked already because I just cut your other hand. You're not going to get better all of a sudden because you put your hand, your blade in the other hand like me. You're already, uh, you're already in a de uh, deficit position. You, you get what I'm saying? People don't understand that during a fight, within a small window, you can get your ass kicked. And when you get your ass kicked, you might switch to the other side. But because if you can't beat the guy on your strong side, what's your chance of beating the guy on your weak side? See? You, you guys get what I'm saying? So, uh, let's just say I'm fighting with Evander and I kick his ass and I, like, kick, I do a lot of low kicks and his thigh gets messed up. So he switched to his less dominant side. Okay? Now, if he trains both sides, that's great, but the investment on training both sides is tremendous, tremendous. Okay? You may have good techniques, like good roundhouse kick and stuff, but fighting is not, not just more than punching or kicking a bag. It's the way you move, the way you encounter the move, the way your mind perceives the move, the way your mind perceives the tempo, the rhythm, the timing, and the distance. 
Um, you guys may not believe me, but I've been telling Evando a lot. I say, hey, Wanda Rousey's, you know, she hits the mid. It looks very impressive. And what do I always tell you? I always say, Wanda Rousey's boxing has not been tested. It looks spectacular, hitting the mid and training with this coach. But on the day of the fight, I always watch her, and she always, her, her movement, her tempo, the way she sets up the strike is wonky. And I say, wait till she gets tested, then we know if her boxing is good enough or not. And guess what happened? She got tested. And she got tested really bad because she went from fighting people with average boxing skill to someone who's super elite, like Holly Holmes. Honestly, you had me because I didn't even know. I thought she was going to beat her, honestly. I I had no idea, so... <laughs> no, no, a lot of people thought we would beat her, but I also talk about boxing, and Ronda's boxing has never been tested. Never been. It, um, so I train people to fight, and what we do is, what I do is, I don't just look at techniques, I look at how they move the technique on the day of the fight, right? Now, I don't care if they win or lose, I care about more about the performance, okay? Because on that day, they may have a bad day. And so let's go back to training left and right side. So let's just say, um, let's just say, so hypothetically, let's just say I do my tie boxing, okay? So I go my jab cross to throw a low kick. I might throw a kick from here, or I might step in, okay? Now to do it from my other side, anatomically, my setup will be slightly different. I cannot change that. My movement will be different, the way I glide will be different, the way I pull off will be different, okay? Now, unless you've been training for a very, very long time, now that's possible if you just train a martial art, that is contained in one type of discipline, like striking, okay? But, let's take it one step farther. If you train in a, like an edge weapon art, like fighting with the knives and stuff, the minute I cut you on your strong side, within a small five to six second window, you're already lost. Because the guy's gonna cut you, cut you, cut you, and boom, you're dead. Okay, there is no time, there's no movie in Hollywood where, oh, you cut my arm, oh, I'm gonna put it on display and I'm gonna try to fight you. Fuck you. you, you already lost on one side. What's the chance of lose winning on the other side? Okay, watch UFC. The minute the guy gets smashed, very, very like very small chance they recover. Like watch UFC. Look at Ronda Rousey, she got smashed, smashed offline, Holly Holm times it and push her, and she pushed to get her distance right, and then she throw the back house kick and hit it. Right? And what I tell Evan is a lot of times the fight is lost, not at that moment, but what? Two or three moves before that moment, or two or three seconds before that moment. So let's just say I fight with uh, Max. Let's just say we're fighting, let's just say we have an edge weapon. Okay, so he takes that hand and tries to block it. I just cut his hand right there. Okay, what's the chance of him taking that blade and passing that hand? Not possible. I just cut, cut. No way, no way. Okay, let's just say he cuts me with that hand. I block, I do destruction. Boom, okay, and then I come through here, and then I bust it up. Okay, now he might take that blade, he might take it. Okay, and now I grab, and then I cut him again, or I might come through, and I break. So in other words, I'm already, when I have that rampant stage, he has a very small window to recover. Fighting is just this quick, aggressive move, like rah! Okay, it's not Hollywood, where I fight, and I break his elbow, and then he takes his hand, and now he gets to fight me with the other hand, Right? And so we always think in terms of Hollywood. Thank you very much. We always think in terms of Hollywood. Just you know, let's go back here. Um, last week was the 25th anniversary of UFC, of the first UFC. Uh, 20th, I think, 20, 21st, 20, whatever. And the first UFC came along and it shattered a lot of myth of what fighting or martial arts could be. Okay? So hopefully that's my thought process. Limited resources. Also, when you fight, the minute you lost, there's no time to tr switch your stance and stuff. So what I'm saying is this, you've got to train your ass off and make sure you do not lose. You develop a whole strategy and arsenal off that one side and fight it off that. And you do not lose. <laughs> That's it. The minute you lose, it's like, a, it's like a, 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 an aluminum can. The minute that aluminum can gets crushed, you cannot reshape that aluminum can. It gets crushed and crushed and crushed. The minute you're on the receiving end of a beatdown, there's no way you're gonna win. Now granted, there's certain martial art that has small window of switching stance and stuff. But even then, they're playing off a setup of the strong to the weak. They don't all of a sudden fight off the weak. So in other words, um, I don't all of a sudden fight off my weak. Now there's a chance that you might beat someone because you're a higher skill set. And that's why you can